is going to hallucinate, you should assume that's going to hallucinate unless you give it the correct criteria. And there's a couple of variables that you always need to be working with. First, make sure that you minimize the chance of that happening. And a lot of times that has to do with the structure or the template of the actual prompt you're building, right? You can break out the steps in different ways that the large language model interprets in different ways, right? So you need to make sure that even though you feel like you're breaking out your prompts into steps, that it's actually being understood that way. Then anytime that it creates an output, it shouldn't show it to you until it's gone through all of the checklists that you create to make sure that it's not hallucinating, right? For example, like are the headlines related to the questions in the survey? It's a one or a zero, a yes or a no. Do you have the examples of the actual quotes for those themes? Yes or no. So it won't go on and it won't give you something that's fake until it's checked all of those. It's about bringing the right tools together as you iterate and refine and knowing what things you need to tweak here versus there to get your, your output as accurate as possible.